bank in central London is one of the UK's financial epicentres. But it's not just inside the buildings that money is made. These cameras may look inconspicuous, but they enabled the City of London to issue £15.2 million worth in penalty charges between 2019 and 2021. Its £3.2 million haul in 2021 was about 40% of all such fines levied in the city square mile and makes it one of the most lucrative traffic spots in the UK capital. With multiple streets converging on a statue of the Duke of Wellington, the junction was once one of London's most popular thoroughfares. Now the streets feature warnings that only buses and pedal cyclists are allowed to cross Bank Junction. Traffic fines have become a major generator of income across London. Newham, for example, made £11.8 million from junctions similar to the one at Bank last year, while Enfield collected £7.58 million. A spokesperson for Newham said traffic restrictions cut nitrogen dioxide in the immediate area by 40%. And a representative from Enfield said much of the money funded free travel passes for the young and elderly. At Bank Junction, though, the traffic rules behind its seven-figure income may soon come to an end. The City of London is reviewing the restrictions at the crossroads and may see them eased. 